to my channel. Today I'm going to share my updated perfume collection. This is one of the most highly requested videos that I received ever since I started taking photos of my perfume and also spraying perfume before I leave in this little corner right here. So I finally decided to film this and I was a bit hesitant because one, I'm really bad at describing scents and two, it's probably going to sound repetitive because I tend to gravitate towards scents that are similar. So I'm pretty nervous right now because I have over 30 bottles of perfume in front of me and behind me. So I think the best way to do this is share my favorites and share about the ones that have a special memory because there are um, bottles in front of me that I have not even used yet. So the best way to do this is to share the ones that I have a history with and ones that I'm kind of obsessed with right now at the moment. So the very first perfume that I want to start with is this one from Chloe. And as you guys can see from the bottle, Bottle, it has gotten so rusty because this one is probably the oldest in my collection the Chloe perfume was my signature scent throughout college and it has a very strong chic floral scent to it with like a hint of like woody I don't even know if it's woody again I'm very bad at describing so I'll make sure to edit in the keynotes down below right here I really can't throw this bottle out even though it is a bit old because it is very special and it is definitely an icon in my perfume collection because it was part of my daily routine back in college for like four or five years so after this one I did graduate to the Elizabeth and James Nirvana white and this I loved so much I bought an extra bottle because they don't sell this in Korea. Well, back then they didn't sell it in Korea. And I also bought the rollerball and the solid perfume because I just had to have it with me at all times. This also has a floral scent to it. It's also peony like the Chloe. And the difference between the Chloe and the Nirvana White would be that this one is a bit more subtle. It's not as powerful as the Chloe, but this was definitely one of my favorites. And I used this for a good three years, I believe. And I had to have extras and um, on the go rollerballs and solid perfumes. And I still do take these around with me whenever I use the Nirvana White, but now my go-to signature scent is actually back here. And it is the Lolabo Santal 33. Now, I just instantly fell in love with this the moment I wafted it because it is definitely different from the previous two signature scents that I always use because it is not floral, it's sandalwood, it's a very woody scent, and I just really love how powerful it smells. I know this isn't everyone's favorite scent because some people describe it as leather or um, dill pickles, but I don't think that. It smells very woody to me. And I also really love the Labo because you could personalize the bottles. For here, I got this one in Karosuke and it says Joan Day. And on this big bottle right here, I got it in Paris and it also says Joan Day. I also really like how eco-friendly they are instead of throwing out this bottle you could take it in and get it refilled for 20% off so you can save a little bit of money there and there's definitely something so charming about the refilled bottles because um, they put a new label over the old one so I really really love Lolabo and my brother actually got me one for my birthday he went to the Lolabo store in Chicago on my birthday to make sure it has my birthday on it and also this is a Chicago exclusive this is a very rosy scent with like pepper or salty scent to it. Um, I do prefer the Santal over this one, but because my brother has been living in Chicago for a bit, I did want the Chicago exclusive and he remembered that and got it for me for my birthday. So thank you, Abe, for this one. Um, I will cherish it forever. <laughs> Now I want to talk about a perfume that I recently fell in love with in New York and it is the Byredo Slow Dance. Now I took this one with me to New York because there's a meme on the internet about how everyone in New York wears the Lolabo Santal 33. So I wanted to be different and I went ahead with Byredo Slow Dance and this has a very unique scent to it. I really love it because it's so different from the peony sandalwood 
it's very <laughs> I'm so bad at describing this but I really like how powerful it smells it's very chic very city girl I forgot what the keynotes were but I kind of smell a hint of vanilla um, it smells very sweet, but the scent lasts all day. I remember um, the first compliment I got was when I was at the Sarwasu photo shoot. The makeup artist was like, you smell so good. And I told her it's by Redo, and she was like, of course. And I definitely know what she meant by that because I do have two more by Redo perfumes right here. And they all have very distinct smells to it. So let's start with Blanc or let's move on to Blanc. And this one has a very fresh, clean scent to it. And this was actually the very first Byredo perfume that I received. And I really like it because it's great for like a hot summer day because I just feel very fresh, cool, and light whenever I wear this. And this is the next one that I um, went in to purchase. And this is the Black Saffron. So this has a very, this is so a little different from the slow. No, it's very different from Slow Dance, but it has a very yummy smell to it, but it's also very powerful. I honestly don't know how to describe it other than the fact that it smells really good and I feel like whenever I wear Slow Dance and Black Saffron, people um, like always ask me what I'm wearing and I'm very proud to say that it is by Redo. Let's quickly go over Jo Malone. I do prefer the packaging for the smaller bottles than the big ones because it's a lot easier to carry around and also for perfume, unless it's like a signature scent like the Santal 33, I do like to rotate them around and if they're in big bottles, I tend to not use them So smaller bottles are better because um, I tend to use it a lot quicker and for perfume it doesn't last too long So you want to use it as fast as you can so that the fragrance is still there Anyway, Jo Malone perfume, um, they're beautiful. It's very unique. However, they don't last a long time. So that's my biggest problem with Jo Malone because it is pricey and if I'm paying money for it, I definitely want the scent to last all day, but it doesn't. So this is something that I would keep in my purse. And my favorites from Jo Malone, this is a question that I get asked all the time, is always different by season, but the two that I love the the most would probably be the peony and blush suede and also the nectarine blossom and honey so peony and blush suede you guys wouldn't be surprised because i've definitely talked about peony as a keynote um, with the chloe as well as nirvana white but this has a very soft scent to it i just love the way this smells oh my gosh i almost forgot about how great this smells and for Jo Malone, it's great because you can mix it and match it and the smell would be a little different if you mix it with other perfumes. But this one, oh my gosh, this just smells so good. Very lovely scent. So um, I think this was the very first one that I purchased. It might have been with a deal, but the Peony and Blush Suede is definitely one of my favorites from Jo Malone. And then the Nectarine Blossom and Honey. This has a very fruity scent to it and something about me is I don't really go for fruity scents because I just prefer sandalwood and floral scents but this was the very first fruity smell that I really enjoyed. This is just perfect for the summertime because it's so fresh and lively and so the Nectarine Blossom and Honey would definitely be on my list. And then I have grapefruit, English oak and red currant, and English pear and freesia, which is also very, very popular, but they're not like my favorites from the Jo Malone line. I actually got them on duty free and sometimes they would sell doubles. And so I think two of them were a pair. Anyway, the two new ones that you guys have not seen on my channel would have to be the Honeysuckle and Davana. And this is their, I think this is one of their current scents, like one of the newer ones. And I got this because I did like a promotion with them for their airport, like around the world campaign. And so my Jo Malone perfume has a little Hanok keychain on it because I got it at Incheon and this kind of represents Korea. It's just very lovely packaging. Um, but the smell, it has a very fresh scent to it, kind of like the honeysuckle that I mentioned before. And it also smells very clean, kind of like laundry. Yeah. 
So this is one from Jo Malone as well. And this one right here is a new one, the newest Jo Malone one that I have, and it's Rose and Magnolia. I will say, I love floral scents, but I don't like the way rose smells. <laughs> like, which is so weird because some rose I really like, like the Santal one that my brother got for me. But this one is just too rosy. I like the smell of fresh bouquet of roses, but I don't like it in perfume. So I did get this one as a gift from Jo Malone, but I'll probably end up giving it to a friend who likes rosier scents. Yeah very very rosy now let's talk about an icon and here i have the chanel number no. five low and i actually have the low in the red packaging this was for like their holiday collection and then i also have the number no. five now for chanel number no. five this is just such an iconic perfume that i feel like every girl just wants to have it in their vanity and to be honest, when I first smelled Chanel Number no. Five, I just—it just smells so powdery and laundry-like. But like, there are some laundry-inspired perfumes here that I actually love. But this one, it's just not—it just smells so powdery. But then when I discovered Lo, this is definitely a lot more subtle than the actual Number no. Five. Um, but this is just something that I feel like I cannot not have in my perfume collection because it is just such an iconic perfume. But a perfume that I would recommend from Chanel would be the Shangsi. It just smells so, so lovely and florally. It's just, oh, this is just such a lovely scent and it's also very long lasting. And for Shangsi, they recently released the perfume pencils as well. You could just touch up your perfume throughout the day. Oh my gosh, it just smells so good. Like it's like effortlessly florally. Oh my gosh, it just smells so good. Yes, the Shangsi would have to be my favorite from Chanel. And also when I was at the Chanel store, I did smell the Riviera. And I also really liked that one as well. But because I just have way too many perfumes, I didn't purchase it, but the Shangsi, Oh, this is just so, so lovely. Like the packaging is pretty too. Since I quickly talked about the perfume pencils, I wanna talk about solid perfumes from Tamburins. Now, Tamburins is one of my favorite Korean skincare brands because it is the sister brand to Gentle Monster. And I just really love how they package each of their product. It takes a lot for them to release a product because they want it to be perfect in terms of formulation, the smell, and also packaging. It looks like lotion so it spreads really easily and all you have to do is touch it up throughout the day and you will still smell very nice so the tambourine solid perfumes i would recommend they are also on the pricey side i believe each one is around 60 dollars but because the scent is so long lasting i would say that it is something that i would purchase to give to people because this is something that i feel like a lot of people wouldn't purchase for themselves but it is a great gift idea. Now I know I've been talking for a long time but there are a few more that I want to talk about and here I have the Purgari Rose Goldia. This perfume is something that is so close to my heart because this is the perfume my mom used to use and when they reached out to uh, work with me, I was super excited because this is something that I really loved because even though it is rosy, it is not like a bouquet of flowers it's definitely mixed in with a lot of great scents and i really like how it's very lovely and again this is the scent that reminds me of my mom i don't know with perfume there it definitely takes you back in time and for example like this chloe one right here when i talked about it i almost forgot about how i used to wear it all the time but once i smelled it it really took me back to college and this one would be the memory of my mom's vanity. Yeah, it smells super, super good. And um, Prugati, again, is a brand that both my parents actually used a lot while growing up. So thank you, Prugati, for giving me this chance to uh, work with you. It was for Instagram, it's not for YouTube. But again, I got this as a gift from Prugati for an Instagram posting. And I took the opportunity because it is so close and dear to my heart. All right, um, now let's try to quickly wrap this up. And uh, 
are a few perfume bottles that I haven't really given a chance. Like for example, this Tom Ford one, I barely used it. It smells good, it's fresh, but I prefer something else other than this. So again, this is probably something that if my friend picks up, if they like it, I'll probably just give it to them because why just keep it in a corner when you can share the love? Let's talk about Diptyque, which is another perfume brand. I get questions about what my favorite Diptyque perfume is and it is the Tozon. It smells very, oh, I don't know, even know if it's floral anymore. I should have had coffee beans in front of me, but um, I really like this one because it's, how do I explain this? It's the perfect, it's, it has a warm scent. It's kind of fruity, but very warm. It might have floral in it. So honestly, at this point, all I can say is this is one of my favorite scents and I used a lot of it because um, I was obsessed with it during the fall season at one point. But yes, the Tozon is my favorite from Diptyque because it's a very unique, but also, I wouldn't say lovely. I would say it has a very spicy smell to it, but a very subtle spice. And then the Lombre, this is actually my mom's favorite because she really likes how unique the smell is. And so this one and the Tozon are my Diptyque ones that I kept out here that um, I use here and there. I have a few more bottles in front of me, but I think I'm gonna have to save these for the future because I really can't think of what to say about them because like, I didn't use it as often and they are just very new to my perfume collection so they'll definitely need more time for me to like use like I really have no memory with any of these so I will save these for the future but I'm going to end with this one right here this is the YSL Libre perfume and I really don't like the way this smells when I first saw the keynotes, I was really excited because there's lavender and orange and at first I liked it, but the more I the more it lingered throughout the day, I just had a massive headache because it's just so oh I can't, I can't handle this one because it just smells so strong and for floral, I like the subtly ones. Like the only one that was strong was the Chloe one, but this is definitely mixed with others, but this is just mixed with floral and fruits and I just can't get myself to use this anymore. Um, I did receive this for PR and I was excited about it because the packaging is just so beautiful. This is definitely just out for display because it's just so beautiful. Like the packaging, like YSL, they know what they're doing, but for the fragrance, definitely not my cup of tea. Oh no. So that's it for my updated perfume collection. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Perfume is hard because it's not something that I could describe with confidence because everyone is so particular about their uh, choice for perfume. So um, I hope it was helpful, but for these kind of things, I recommend that you go to the store and smell it. And if you wanna buy it online, try to look for the best deals because sometimes Sephora has like the box sets and sometimes during the holidays there are moments where these perfumes do go on sale so I think that's like a quick tip that I would give for you because um, for Elizabeth and James I actually bought this a lot on Sephora.com because they would um, come with like the dry shampoo the body lotion and things like that so definitely look out for uh, deals that you can find online I'll try my best to find some and link it down below and yeah that's about it Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.